Hello and welcome to this week's Video Roundup. I'm Caroline Williams and I'm going to take you through our best science videos from the past week. First we have an orchid having sex with itself. Orchids have both male and female reproductive parts. The male anther can rotate in a full circle and fertilise the female stigma. Although many plants self-fertilise, no others can perform such contortions. Orchids are thought to have evolved this mechanism because of a lack of insects in their natural habitat to help with pollination. From sex we move on to another intimate subject, wearable computing. New Scientist reporter Phil McKenna went to the 11th International Symposium on Wearable Computing and he asked some of the presenters about their coolest devices. Hi, uh, my name is Karsten Mearing, I'm with the Colorado School of Mines Division of Engineering. I came up with a new type of remote control. Uh, the interesting thing here is you actually wear your remote, you don't carry it. In this particular design that I came up with, it's a two-finger remote where you uh, change a song or, or volume up, volume down on your iPod by pairing index finger contact with a thumb contact. I am a PhD student at the MIT Media Lab and right now I'm wearing seven accelerometers one at each wrist, another one at the dominant thigh, another one at every single shoe, and uh, the last one is located at my hip, and the other one is located at the dominant upper arm. I'm doing this because what I would like to do, or what I'm doing, is training computers how to recognize physical activity in real time, and the possible applications of the system are two. One is checking the wellness of an elderly person living alone. A computer can tell if the person stopped cooking, if the person is not having enough physical activity, the other application is, for example, if your cell phone knows what's your physical activity level, it can tell you feedback about how much energy are you spending over the course of the day. So these are two very important applications. Now that looks handy. But at Microsoft Research Labs, it's all about being touchable, not wearable. Existing touchscreens have two main problems. The buttons are often hard to touch precisely, and the screen becomes obscured while it's being touched. So researchers are developing a touch-sensitive screen that can be controlled from behind. It's much easier to grip the device and the whole screen is easier to view. Speaking of views, here's a pretty cool video of Saturn's moon Iapetus. This footage was captured by the Cassini spacecraft in September 2007, as it flew past the walnut-shaped moon. October the 15th marked the 10-year anniversary of the launch of Cassini, so NASA released this spectacular video in its honour. And that's all we have to show you today. For more science and technology stories, you can visit our website or buy the magazine. See you next week.